everyone, welcome back to The Breakdown. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about will your computer run Minecraft, right? Can your computer run Minecraft? And I'm gonna be going a little more in depth in this video and talking about, you know, computers that need to run Minecraft mods and things like that. And then I'm also going to give you a less than $500 computer that will let you run Minecraft, get everything up and running and all that stuff in order to just be an incredible Minecraft player. But on top of that, it's going to be a pretty good PC for playing other games as well. So you'll be able to play AAA titles and things like that via Steam and stuff like that with this computer that we're going to be building here today and all for less than $500. But first, we have a much more sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Host. You can check out Apex the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start a Minecraft server. While these might be the minimum specs to play Minecraft, it's not the minimum specs to run a Minecraft server. That's going to be quite a bit higher than the specs here. So it's easier to just have someone else host your Minecraft server. And that's what Apex Minecraft hosting is for. There you can host a modded server using mod packs or Forge, or you can host plugins on your server using Spigot, Bucket, or Paper in order to have, you know, different things on your server there. Or you can just have a vanilla server and have a ton of fun. You can do it all via Apex Minecraft hosting. We actually love Apex so much that we host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them. So again, if you want to check out Apex Minecraft hosting, check them out the first link down below. The breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump right on into it. So the first thing is your Minecraft Java system requirements, right? So this is Java edition for PC. That's what we're talking about here. And this page is linked in the description down below. But basically, here are the minimum requirements for a Minecraft. So it requires an Intel Core i3 3210, which are very old processor there on the Intel side. And same thing for AMD, AMD A4 7600 APU or equivalent. So pretty, you know, old stuff there for the minimum requirements. Minimum is four gigabytes of RAM. GPU is Intel integrated graphics or AMD Radeon R5 graphics there. So Intel Graphics 4000 or Radeon R5 graphics from AMD. Now, if you do want a separate GPU, all you would need is an NVIDIA GeForce 400 series or Radeon HD 7000 series. So pretty old stuff there as well. As you can see, Minecraft's not taking a lot. It needs at least a gig of HDD space. I would recommend more than that. You know, get, get you know, 100 gigabytes at least or something like that. And then you do need Windows 7 or Mac OS or Linux to be able to run it there. So yeah, that's the minimum requirements. Don't set for that, right? most likely even just disregard all of this, right? Because this is going to be kind of, you know, you're not going to be having a good Minecraft experience there. You're definitely going to need optifine. You're going to be playing the lowest render distance possible. However, with this, you can actually crank out some pretty good stuff using their recommended requirements, which bumps it up to an Intel Core i5-4690. So we're in the fourth generation Intel processors at that point. We've got the i5 as well versus the i3. So a lot of, you know, increase. Not only are we jumping a generation, but we're also jumping up a processor tier. So quite a bit of an increase there. And then we do have on the AMD side, the AMD A10-7800. So we are... Jumping up quite a bit there as well on the AMD side, jumping up to the A10 chip and uh, or equivalent. I don't know what equivalent processor you're going to have. Basically, Intel and AMD are the only two you should care about. Eight gigabytes of RAM. That's more in line with what I would, what I would recommend for the minimum in Minecraft. GeForce 700 series graphics cards or RX 200 series AMD. So we're jumping up quite a bit in the graphics card area as well. That's going to be able to allow you to run some light shaders packs uh, with the 700 series or AMD RX 200 series there. Uh, HDD, four gigabytes. Forget, forget that. Get, get yourself 100 gigabytes at least. You should have like a terabyte if you just want a standard hard drive. But it does say an SSD is recommended. Minecraft does have quite a few files, so an SSD can help. But overall, you're not going to notice that much of a difference. And for the price right now in a budget build, no reason to go with an SSD in my opinion yet. Some may disagree there, but yeah. OS, again, Windows 10, Mac OS 10.12, or any modern Linux distribution from 2014 onwards. So that's kind of what I would recommend. These are the recommended specs. You want at least this to be able to get things up and running. But I'm sure you're like, okay, thank you, that's that. But how do I know what my computer has spec-wise? Well, I'm gonna go ahead and show you that. So I'm gonna minimize my browser here and then click the little Windows icon up here in the top left of your screen or in the bottom left of your screen. For me, it's in the top left, I mean the bottom left of your screen, but it's gonna be the little Windows icon in the top right on left. And then just when you click on that, type system information, system information right there. Click on that and here's all the information about your computer, right? I mean, it has everything you need to know on it as including your processor right there. So you know what kind of processor you have. For example, I have a fourth generation 4790K i7 processor from Intel. If you want to know how much RAM you have, well, guess what? Installed physical memory. That's going to be how much RAM you have right there. I have 32 gigabytes of RAM. They recommended at least eight gigabytes for the recommended. That's what I would be looking at there. And then you might be like, what about graphics card? Unfortunately, for some reason, the graphics card isn't actually shown here, but overall, you should probably know your graphics card by what, you know, 
NVIDIA or AMD you have installed on your computer. So for example, you might have like the NVIDIA, as you can see I have the NVIDIA GeForce there. I need to do a driver update, but that's not here nor there. Long story short is that should be listed there. And really and truly for Minecraft, if you have a dedicated graphics card at all, and any modern system, it's going to be enough for Minecraft. It's really and truly your biggest things in Minecraft are going to be your processor and your RAM. Graphics in Minecraft are pretty light unless you're running shaders, at which point you do want a pretty good GPU. And honestly, if you're running shaders, you should probably know what GPU you have without having to come in here and look it up. So that is pretty much that. That is kind of everything you need to know about uh, finding that information on your computer. Now, I know at the beginning of this video, I promised a $500 bill that would allow you to play Minecraft as well as, you know, some pretty modern games as well. You know, some AAA titles, things like that. You're not going to be maxing out GTA 5 or anything, but you're going to be able to play GTA 5 on this computer that I'm going to be giving you without having, you know, any lag issues at medium to low settings, and that's pretty cool, right? So that's what this system can offer. It's also going to allow you to max out Minecraft, no problem, be able to run shaders, all of that stuff in Minecraft. So I'm going to go ahead, switch over to full screen here, full face cam, I should say, right like so, and we're going to go over an incredible build. Now, as I'm going through all this over here, all of the stuff is going to appear right over here, and you're just going to see what it is on screen, like, you know, AMD CPU and all that stuff is going to show up and all of the links for this are in the description down below. Those are affiliate links, so if you go to those links, it does help support the channel, but that's at no additional cost to you. All of it is linked on Amazon. I'm also going to be showing some screenshots on screen and things like that of like different prices, like you know how much this build came out to be when I did spec it out. So nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump right on into this. So first and foremost in this build, we do have an AMD Ryzen 3 3200. This is a four core CPU and it comes with a cooler and everything like that. So you don't have to worry about buying a separate CPU cooler. It's just a basic Ryzen 3 CPU and it's kind of their bottom into the barrel right now, but it's still way better than the recommended CPU for your, you know, that Minecraft basically recommends and that Mojang recommends for Minecraft. So you're not gonna have any CPU issues with Minecraft with this, assuming you're just running Minecraft. If you wanna run a Minecraft server, maybe set up to a Ryzen 5 if you wanna run the server while you're playing in Minecraft. But overall, if you're just focusing on playing Minecraft, don't care about running a server or anything, an AMD Ryzen 3 is gonna be great. It's a budget CPU. And because of that, it's going to allow you to get just a lot more out of the budget, right? So that's what we're looking at. We're low budget here, under $500. It's hard to build a PC for under $500. It's actually going to be worth anything. This one's done it, and this is our CPU, an AMD Ryzen 3 3200G. Again, simple four-core CPU. Nothing too complicated here, just a really solid AMD CPU. Pretty simple stuff. Moving on from there, we do have our motherboard, and our motherboard is a Gigabit GAAB350M-DS3H. Yeah, that's quite a mouthful. I actually think I even misspoke that a little bit there. But basically, another small form factor ATX motherboard that personally I actually really like simply because it has four RAM slots. And that's a big thing, allowing you to get two sticks here and then upgrade your RAM in the future if you want. You know, not it's not limiting you on just having two sticks of RAM, which is something I've seen a lot of these micro ATX boards do. And I, I don't like that. And it's also feature rich in the fact it has two full size PCI slots for graphics cards, which means you're not going to have any issues if you wanted to expand things in the future, add in a wireless card, add in a Bluetooth card, things like that. You can do that with this build because it has that expansion, right? That's what I'm looking for here. I'm looking for a good AMD. Uh, motherboard, which we have. I'm looking for a lot of RAM expansion options, and I'm looking for a lot of PCI expansion options. This has both in a small form factor, meaning it's saving us money in this budget build. Now from there, speaking of RAM, we've been talking a lot about it. We're moving on to Corsair Vengeance. We're getting two 8GB sticks of 2666 megahertz RAM. This is DDR4 RAM, standard stuff. It's not the fastest out there, but it's also not some of the slowest out there. It's kind of somewhere in the middle, and it's going to be perfect for Minecraft. We're going with 16 gigabytes of RAM here, simply because Minecraft's RAM hungry. I told you we talk about Minecraft mods Later, here's where I'm talking about it. Minecraft mods are going to need a lot of times up to 8 gigabytes of RAM. You can't dedicate 8 gigabytes of RAM to it if you have 8 gigabytes of RAM. You want 16 gigabytes of RAM to be able to do that because you should never de dedicate more than 50%, 50% of your RAM to Minecraft. So that's what you're looking at there, and that's why I went with 16 gigabytes here. It might be a little overkill for a build this, you know, price range, but this is a Minecraft build. Minecraft loves RAM, so you want a little more RAM than just 8 gigabytes. Next up, we have our storage. Now, our storage on this is an HDD. SSDs are still in the $60, $70 range for a good one that, you know, is going to last you a while. And because of that, I went with an HDD, a tried and true one that I've personally used for years. I've had multiple computers, never had a drive fail. And that is the Western Digital Blue one terabyte hard drive, a very, very budget standard hard drive that, again, I absolutely love. I have a lot of personal experience with this drive, never had any issues. It's just a long standing drive. It works well. It's not super fast, right? It's not an SSD, but it's going to get the job done and it's going to save you some money. And that's, again, what we're doing here. It's a budget build after all. Now, we do need a graphics card, right? We do need a graphics card, and our graphics card for this build is going to be an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 650 4GB card. It's important that it is a 4GB card. It has that 
four gigabytes of VRAM. That's going to allow us to play things like GTA and some of those other games that you might want to play. It's not going to have much of an effect. Like a two gigabyte card would be okay for running shaders in Minecraft, but that four gigabytes is a big deal when you're looking at other games. And I promise this will be able to play other games as well. So that is something you're looking at there and that's going to be a good card it's going to pair well with your cpu you're not going to have too much you know like bottlenecking there they're going to work well together and all that stuff so that is great that is why we went with this particular graphics card there are better ones on the market but this is the most budget card that we can get that's going to work well with our cpu and allow us to get as much performance as we can out of it moving on from there we do have a case now your case is going to fluctuate doesn't you don't, definitely do not have to go with this case but this is a case that i know is going to be pretty well and it's going to do okay and it's coming from a base maker that's got a good reputation and that is thermal take it is a thermal take versa h21 and overall it's just a great case it's a full atx case giving you expandability options in the future you're gonna have plenty of room to stuff some cables around in there it's not gonna have great cable management but it's gonna be okay and overall it's gonna get the cooling get done on your computer without having to worry about adding in extra fans or things like that just out of the box this computer is gonna work perfectly fine in this case without any cooling issues which is what i like to see and then last but not least we do need a power supply for this thing and we're gonna with a 500 watt 80 plus white certified EVGA power supply. This isn't modular, it's not fancy, but it gets the job done. It's 500 watts, gonna give you plenty of power room there. You're not gonna have to worry about not having enough power, even being able to do a few upgrades if you wanted to switch out the graphics card in the future, add a little more RAM in, you could without having to worry about your power supply being too stressed. And so overall, this is a great build because it's upgradable, it is cheap, and it is going to get the job done in most you know modern games at low to medium settings, and it is going to kill Minecraft without any problems. You're going to run Minecraft without any issues. So there you have it. What is the final price of this build? Well, at the time I'm recording this video, it is $490.76, which you can see on your screen right now. Right there it is. Priced out on PC Part Picker for $490.76 after some rebates and things like that. Your shipping costs may vary as well. That's shipping it to me. Yours may vary. It might be less. It might be a little more. But overall, you're looking at just under $500 for this build. And that is is a win in my book, saving you $10 in comparison to the $500 that I told you it was going to be. So th th that's me keeping my word. That's what I like. So there you have it. If you have any questions about this build, about whether Minecraft can run stuff, you know, like whether your computer can run Minecraft, all that stuff, let me know in the comment section down below. I'm more than happy to help you out. If you like this style of video, let me know. I can do a few more of them. It's, it's kind of a different video for me. It's still related to our Minecraft stuff. We always do Minecraft stuff here, but it's a bit different, you know, doing a little build guide and everything. So awesome stuff there. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Come play with us on the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, play.breakdowncraft.com. All that information is in the description down below as well. But nevertheless, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I'm out. Peace.